have been kidnapped and kidnapped for once one million dollars. That may sound like our own Marcella Lee, but it's not. It's artificial intelligence, a technology that is growing by the day. CBS 8's Shannon Handy sat down with a local professor today to talk more about AI, including some recent scams associated with it. Imagine hearing a family member's voice on the phone pleading for help or seeing an image of yourself. It's not actually you. That's what's happening with AI. Experts say as impressive as the technology is, it's also concerning. Mom, these bad men have me. Help me, help me, help me. She begged and pleaded as the phone was taken from her. Earlier this week, this Arizona mom testified before a Senate Judiciary Committee recalling a terrifying ordeal where scammers manipulated her daughter's voice. A threatening and vulgar man took the call over. Listen here, I have your daughter. The FBI recently issued a warning about AI saying scammers were turning innocent photos and videos into something explicit to extort victims. Students have been using the technology to write research papers without doing any of the work themselves. It's definitely an amazing tool that can be used for good, but it's also a tool that can be used for evil. Nicholas Behar is a professor of cybersecurity at the University of San Diego. He says the benefits of AI include everything from diagnosing medical conditions to help you with math problems. Paul McCartney just revealed a new Beatles record will be released this year thanks to AI. All great things, but Behar says the list of not so great things is growing. So for example, we could use it to write viruses or write malicious software. We could also use it to clone voices. One of my biggest concerns is coming up in the election. It could be used to generate uh, fake videos of the candidates saying certain things. Even more concerning is how easy AI is to use. These voices can be manipulated within minutes. Yeah, you will tell it what you want it to say in that voice, and then a few minutes later, it'll generate the clip and it's ready for you to download. After sending my recording to an online program, I waited a couple minutes and shared the results with my coworkers. Can you send me your credit card number so I can pay for the repair? I would send you money. <laughs> <laughs> Can you send me your credit card number so I can pay for the repair? Oh my God, that does sound real. There are a series of proposed bills at the federal level to deal with the dangers of AI, but for now, Behar suggests if you ever get a suspicious call, call that person's phone to see if it's really them or come up with specific code words for each other just in case. In general, fact check what you see here as a way to protect yourself and others from this growing trend. We're starting to see uh, guardrails being proposed at a higher level, but I think it's going to be a little bit before we actually have a handle on how we're going to contain this technology. Shannon Handy, CBS 8.